Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today we're gonna to talk about stoichiometry and libitine reactants. Get your periodic table, get your polyatomic ion chart, and make sure you have a calculator. And I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume that you can write chemical equations, that you can balance a chemical equation. You are familiar with moles and molar mass and you know what stoichiometry is. Now, if you have trouble with any of these ideas or topics, make sure you go to my YouTube channel and find videos for each of these and watch them. No good doing stoichiometry if you do not understand these ideas. The problem, how many grams of water can be produced from 5.55 grams hydrogen and 4.44 grams oxygen. Let's analyze the problem. We have hydrogen and we have oxygen and together they're going to produce water. Therefore we need to find a limiting reactant and then a balanced equation. We're going to need molar masses and we're going to need the mole ratio. So let's get started. Here's my plan. Write a balanced chemical equation then change the grams of reactants to moles, determine which of the reactants is the limiting reactant, then use the mole ratio to find the moles of water, and then change the moles of water to grams of water. To the blackboard. First, our balanced equation. So two moles of hydrogen plus one mole of oxygen will give us two moles of water. And you can check that out. It's perfectly balanced. And remember that Hydrogen and oxygen are both diatomic. All right, let's figure out the molar masses. According to the periodic table, the uh, molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01 gram, and the uh, molar mass of oxygen is 16.00 grams. Therefore, pure hydrogen is going to be 2.02 grams per mole. Oxygen is going to be 32.00 grams per mole and water is going to be 18.02 grams per mole. Now, if you're not sure how to do molar masses, you need to go find the uh, video lesson on molar masses. The mole ratios. Well, we know that the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen will be two to one. We know that the ratio of uh, hydrogen to water is two to two or one to one. And the ratio of O2 to uh, H2O to water is going to be one to two. So there's our three uh, mole ratios. And now grams to moles. If I take 5.55 grams of hydrogen and I multiply it to its molar mass, cross out and plug and chug, and we get 2.75 moles of water. Then we take the oxygen, multiply it to the molar mass, cross out and plug and chug, and we get 0.139 moles of oxygen. Now, if you'll notice there, 0.139 moles of oxygen is going to be the limiting reactant. And you can get that from realizing that there are two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of oxygen, as we already showed. We're going to run out of oxygen way before we run out of hydrogen. Therefore, limiting reactant is oxygen. All right, moles of water, 0.139 moles of oxygen, multiplied to the mole ratio between water and oxygen. Uh, cross out and plug and chug, and we're going to get 0.278 moles of water. And so there's our the moles of water that we'll have. Change the moles of water to grams of water, and we do that by multiplying by the molar mass. Plug and chug, and we get 5.01 grams of water. And there's our final answer. All right, recap. You calculated molar masses. You wrote a balanced chemical equation. You determine the limiting reactant. You then used that limiting reactant and you changed grams of reactants to moles and then you changed the moles to grams for our final product answer. Questions? Send an email to Mr. Kazi at MrKazi.com. Be sure to check out my website at MrKazi.com, videos and much, much more. And then subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can be kept on the late, up on the latest information. Happy Ions, y'all.